Hello, my name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Kishwani. We are here because we want to learn how to solve algebra word problems. Today we'll solve problem number 164 and 165. Problem number 164, as you can see, is already on the blackboard. Let's take a look at it. It says we are to find a fraction such that if 2 is subtracted from its denominator, it turns into a half. But on the other hand, if 5 is taken from its numerator, if the 5 is taken from its numerator, it reduces to a quarter. The question is, what is such a fraction that will satisfy these two conditions? Let's find out, shall we? Here we go. First we have to define our unknown. So let's begin, we're going to define our unknown. Let the, let the fraction rather not the numerator, that the fraction that we're looking for be n over d. This is going to be our fraction. That's the fraction we're looking for. n for the numerator, d for the denominator, and we begin our work. So we, we are told that if you want to subtract 2, it's subtracted from its denominator. So here is our numerator over denominator. If you would subtract 2 from the denominator, what happens? It becomes half. It becomes half. So that's our first equation. We need two equations obviously, we need two independent equations to figure out the two unknowns because the way we set up our fractions, it's numerator over denominator, we have two unknown quantities, n and the d. The second equation that we need is come from the second sentence. But if 5 is taken from its numerator, if we take the numerator, if we subtract 5 from it, we are told that as a result, it reduces to a quarter. It reduces to a quarter. It doesn't say reduces to a quarter of the original fraction, it says it reduces to a quarter. Same thing here, it becomes half. Not half of the original fraction, it just becomes half. That's it. Cross multiply. If you cross multiply, we find 2 times n is going to be d minus 2. And here if you cross multiply, we find that d is equal to 4 times n minus 5. Open the parenthesis, we get 4n minus 20. Here's our d. Bring the 2 to this side, if we add 2 to both sides, we end up with d equals to 2n plus 2, 2n plus 2. 2n plus 2, and here we have a d, here we have a d, which means these two quantities, these two quantities have to be equal to each other, because they both represent d. So let's do that here. This quantity 2n plus 2 has to equal 4n plus 4n minus 20, 4n minus 20 and this is coming straight from here. Let's subtract 2n from both sides. Let's subtract 2n from both sides and let's add 20 to both sides. Positive 2n and negative 2n is going to cancel out and we end up with 2 plus 20 is 22 and here we end up with 4n minus 2n which is going to give us 2n which means n must be 11. So now we know that the numerator of the fraction that we're looking for is 11. Let's write it properly so that it lines up nicely so it looks better. n equals 11. There you go. Now we have to figure out the denominator. We can use either of these two equations, this equation or that equation. This equation already is too crowded. Let's, let's use this equation to figure out the denominator. So denominator we know is 4n, 4 times n, numerator which is 11 minus 20. 4 times n, 4 times 11 is 44, 44 minus 20 would be 34, 24. Denominator is 24. Which means the fraction that we're looking for, let's do it on the top, we're going to verify, we're going to verify our work on the, on the top here. Which means the fraction that we're looking for, we are claiming, this is our claim, we are claiming that the fraction we're looking for is numerator over denominator. The numerator we're claiming is 11. Denominator we're claiming is 24. And let's see if it meets the condition that the problem tells us. So if you were to take, if you were to take uh, 2 from the denominator, it's 11 over 24 minus 2 would be 22. And as you can see, it becomes half. The second condition we had is that if you were to subtract 5 from the numerator, so we have 11, if you were to subtract 5 from it, it will become 6 over 24, and 6 over 24 is a quarter. As you can see, that confirms 
that our work must have been correct. Let's do one more, shall we? Let's do one more. Another one, very similar one, dealing with fractions. Just give me one second. Let's do one more. Number 165. Number 165. Just give me one brief second. I'm not going anywhere. Find a fraction such that this is 165. Find a fraction such that if if 2 is added to its numerator and 2 is subtracted from its denominator it becomes equal to 1. However, however, so if you add 2 to its numerator, you are told that if we were to add 2 to the numerator and subtract 2 from the denominator, subtract 2 from its denominator it becomes equal to 1. However, if 4 is subtracted from its numerator, and 4 is added to its denominator, what happens? Denominator, we are told that as a result it reduces to a fifth. As you can see, it's the exact same idea, exact same methodology, exact same concept, exact same way of setting it up. It's very simple, very straightforward uh, procedure where you arrive at two independent equations and you solve these two equ equations to, for the two unknowns that you have here. The two unknowns, as before, are going to be our numerator and the denominator. So again, we're going to set it up as our, our fraction is numerator over denominator and we begin our work. If 2 is added to the numerator, so here is our numerator, if we were to add 2 to it, and if 2 is subtracted from the denominator, if we were to take the denominator and subtract 2 from it, we are told as a result it becomes equal to 1. So that's our first equation. It becomes equal to 1. Then they go on that if, go on to tell us that if 4 is subtracted from a numerator, here is our numerator, if you take away 4, and if 4 is added to the denominator, if 4 is added to the denominator, As a result, this fraction reduces to one-fifth. Very simple, very straightforward procedure. Cross multiply, we get n plus 2 equals d minus 2 here. And here we get cross multiplied again. So we're going to get 5 times n minus 4. 5 times n minus 4 will have to equal d plus 4. d plus 4. Here we have a d. Here we have a d. Let's bring the 2 to that side. Add 2 to both sides. And we find that d equals n plus 4. Similarly here, bring 4 to the other side. 4 is going to cancel out. And here we end up with 5n minus 5 times 4. This is where you have to pay attention because I'm, I'm doing two steps together. 5 times negative 4 is negative 20. Negative 20 and a negative 4 is going to be negative 24. And that's your d. So again, this is d. That is d, which means these two quantities have to be equal to each other. We equate the two quantities, solve for n. Let's do it on the top. So n plus 4 must equal 5n minus 24. Bring the 24 here, bring the n there. Bring the 24 to the other side by adding 24 to both sides and subtract n from both sides, voila. So here we have a positive n 
and here we have a negative end, they're going to go away. Here we have a negative 24 and positive 24, they're going to go away. We end up with 24 plus 4, which is 28. And we end up with positive 5 and a negative 1 is going to give us 4n, which means our n must be equal to 7. Our numerator is 7. And once we have the numerator, we can figure out the denominator. Right here, we're going to use this equation instead of, this, instead of using this one because this is more straightforward. It's just n plus 4. The denominator, denominator is simply n plus 4. Why am I rewriting it here? Denominator is equal to n plus 4, which means it is 11. Which means our fraction that we're claiming, our fraction that we're claiming is numerator, which is 7, over the denominator, which is 11. At this point, we're going to take two seconds. We're going to take two seconds to verify our work. We can verify it by the first claim. The first claim that was made is that if you were to add 2 to the numerator, if you were to add 2 to it, 7 plus 2, if you were to add 2 to it, 7 plus 2, which becomes 9, and then the denominator, and if you subtract 2 from it, minus 2, it becomes 9 also. 9 over 9 is 1, which is exactly what we are told. We were told that if you were to add 2 to the numerator and subtract 2 from the denominator, it becomes equal to 1. Similarly here, n minus 4, n we are claiming is 7, so 7 minus 4, which is 3, over denominator, which we are claiming is 11, 11 plus 4, 11 plus 4 is 15, and as you can see, 3 over 15 is 1 fifth, which means our answer, again, turns out to be correct. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.